You two, you give it for you. Yeah, there you go. That's good. I just want to take a moment before I give my experience to tell you that this is going to be maybe the most poignant experience I've ever given in 31 years I've been with this practice. And it has to do with all the ghost shows and everything that I've read. And for me, this is a very poignant experience because it had to do with something that I did recently. And um, if we have time, I want you all to be a part of it, so I'll explain a little bit. To the 49 lives who were lost in the massacre in Orlando, you may not know me. However, I have been a staunch supporter of Igor rights from as far back as I can remember. I too have been bullied and harassed for I was born with a challenge called infantile autism. I took faith in the great Mandela when I was a child, which is Nidra Daishonin's Buddhism. As I progressed and became stronger in my faith, which has been with me for the last 30 plus years, I became the person who I am today, having the voice that does the Buddhist work. I write this letter today because I wanted to tell you something that I felt needed to be said. Every year my cousin had taken me on several occasions to New York City to be in several causes. However, there were times I just couldn't afford to go by myself or I was working Sundays at my job. This year though, I was more aware and more in tune with the world and how important it is to learn through studying and reading the Goshos, which were letters that Nietzsche wrote to his disciples to encourage them during times of great crisis, and to put Buddhism into action and to be very determined to be in the city. The circumstances for it, though I must say, it would be hard to find the right wording for it. But something that I have taken on as a mantra says it best. Great events never had minor, minor omens. When great evil occurs, a greater good shall follow. Never, I would think, that those words in a million years would mean more to me in any time in my life. Nor would I have thought that this year, more than any year, would bring forth the action that I took after the many numerous days of Daimoku and Gun, and after the horrifying events that transpired in Orlando. I received a text from a grassroots group called Moms Demanding Action that said they were going to be doing the Pride Parade in New York City to show their solidarity for the LGBT community who were shocked, stunned, and saddened by the tragedy in Orlando. I replied back that I would join them. And then I had the great fortune and opportunity to go to Juneteenth in the city of Englewood to help one of our members named Susan. And it wound up that she helped me. She actually let me purchase a hat and have it made to remember the lives lost. Because I was going over and joining the women, the men, and the youth at this parade, I also too took it upon myself to make a poster. My mother helped in a very big way by offering me the financial support to tr for me to travel to New York City on the day of the event. I had arrived and I thought I was going to be late in meeting up with the people. Instead, I had arrived right on time. When I stepped off and marched with them, I felt the universe cheering me on. This was an amazing way for me to change poison into medicine, which is also in the Goshos we read. I realized after 560 plus days of non-stop Daimoku and Ganyo that I am always protected. There were times in my life where I wasn't that consistent However, I was still protected. It was a very, very long parade. When we finally reached the end of the parade, one of the moms who was involved in the group, whose name was Nicole, helped me by paying for the cab fare to get me back to the bus station. When I got on that bus and sat back and reflected on this, I am humbled and I am proud of what I accomplished. It was my way to honor all of you. I want you all to know that there were so, so many people all over that showed you the honor and the respect, compassion and dignity, and most of all, love. Now, when I think of all of you, I will not be sad. I will be proud 
and it will leave a smile in my heart. And I'll always be as courageous as the lion. Now this list are the people who were lost. And I was thinking if we have time, we could read each of the names to remember them. Is that alright with all of you? Take a few of them. If you want to set some time aside for just a few moments. After the meeting.